The new Marine Corps Amphibious Combat Vehicle is now operational and preparing to deploy from U.S. Navy Big Deck Amphibs from miles offshore into hostile territory, a long-anticipated development expected to bring commanders an unprecedented ability to both travel from ship to shore and extend penetrating land attack deep into enemy territory. The Corps is going to deploy its new BAE systems built ACV as a way to bring new assault strategy and tactics into the modern era. The new amphibious attack ship to shore combat vehicle is intended to massively expand mission length for amphibious assaults well beyond the current of Corps amphibious assault vehicle. The new configuration is aligned with an emerging Navy Marine Corps amphibious assault strategy which, among other things, sees a possible need for extended penetration into land defenses after an initial beachhead is taken. The new vehicle is designed for long-range sea land combat operations. It uses ocean water to cool the engine so as to enable it to carry up to 200 gallons of fuel, enough for a 365-mile mission. While the new ACV can travel roughly 13 miles through water, at about 6 knots, from ship to shore, it can hit speeds of 60 miles per hour on land for hundreds of miles inland. Unlike existing tracked OVs, the new ACVs are 8x8 wheeled vehicles engineered for greater speed, maneuverability, and survivability on land. By removing the need for torsion bars, a wheeled vehicle such as the ACV can build a V-shaped hull for additional protection, speed and combat durability, BAE Systems developers said. The introduction of the new ACV into the fleet aligns with the Navy and Marine Corps' emerging strategic approach to amphibious attack aimed at leveraging fifth-generation air support, launching more dispersed, disaggregated yet networked assaults, and using smaller unmanned vessels to perform reconnaissance, countermine, and attack missions. A more dispersed amphibious attack force not only reduces its vulnerability to enemy fire, but can also use advanced command, control, communications, computers, C4, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, ISR, and networking to better identify key points of attack across a wider area. This amphibious approach is consistent with the Marine Corps vision outlined in the service's recently published Force Design 2030. The emerging ACVs will launch from big deck amphibious ships, called Landing Helicopter Assault, LHAs, ships, and amphibious transport docks, called LPDs. With one of the upcoming LHA America-class amphibious ships bringing back the well deck, the Corps plans to emphasize ship-to-shore water-launched combat vehicles. At the same time, Navy leaders emphasize that the first two America-class vessels, LHAs 6 and 7, are built with an aviation emphasis to, among other things, capitalize upon the F-35B Joint Strike Fighter and other air-launched elements of amphibious attack. These aviation-centric big-deck amphibious ships are intended to pave the way toward the upcoming LHA-8. U.S. Marine Corps amphibious warfare experts are ordering 14 amphibious combat vehicles, ACVs, and accompanying Vitronics to replace the Corps' aging fleet of amphibious assault vehicles, OVS. Officials of the Marine Corps Systems Command at Quantico Marine Base, Virginia, announced a $89.5 million order last week to the BAE Systems Platforms and Services segment in Sterling Heights, Michigan, for 14 ACV armored combat vehicles. The total cumulative value of the contract is $1.8 billion. The ACV is a wheeled armored combat vehicle able to move as many as 13 Marine infantry warfighters from ships offshore to fight their way onto invasion beaches. Marine Corps leaders canceled the Expensive Expeditionary Fighting Vehicle EFV, program in 2011.
The ACV's weapons and sensors enable the armored combat vehicle to destroy enemy helicopters, light armored vehicles, infantry, and unmanned aircraft, as well as to perform reconnaissance with active and passive night vision, daylight cameras, radar, and infrared sensors. The Marine Corps could end up purchasing as many as 204 vehicles over the next few years to outfit some of its 10 amphibious assault companies, the first phase of an incremental approach to replacing the AV, which entered service in 1972. The ACV is designed to accommodate new capabilities in the future as technology evolves, such as reconnaissance sensors, electronic warfare, U, equipment, anti-air sensors and weapons, and integration with uncrewed aircraft. In 2018 the Marine Corps chose BAE Systems as the ACV prime contractor over competitor Science Applications International Corporation SAIC, in Reston, Virginia. BAE Systems delivered the first vehicles in November 2019 to the 1st Marine Division. The first batch of 18 ACVs went to a platoon of the 1st Marine Division's 3rd Assault Amphibian Battalion earlier this fall at the Marine Corps Air Ground Combat Center in Twentonine Palms, Calif. BAE Systems engineers are basing their ACV design on the Super AV 8X8 amphibious armored personnel carrier developed by the Italian company of Echo Defense Vehicles. ACV systems are designed to operate through enemy direct fire, indirect fire, and landmines with low profile visual and infrared signatures, modular protection, and other armored vehicle technologies. The vehicles can swim to shore from as far as 12 miles out to sea, switch from operating in the water to ground operations without pause, and then maneuver with M1 Abrams main battle tanks in a mechanized task force. The ACV can destroy relatively light enemy combat vehicles similar to itself. The ACV will provide direct fire support for Marine infantry and can carry 17 Marines at speeds of at least 8 knots at sea amid 3-foot waves with waves as large as 3 feet. On shore, the ACV has high ground clearance and a V-shaped hull to resist the effects of landmine blasts and can operate with a wheel blown off. Each ACV has a crew of three, an M2.50 caliber machine gun in a remote weapons station, with the potential to install a stabilized dual-mount M2 Mark 19 grenade launcher turret.